I must have said this like 50 times in my videos now, but Fluid Engine has allowed us to do so much more with our Squarespace websites. One particular thing that it's allowed us to do is overlap blocks. And I've done this on tons of sites already. I'd say I probably get one or two messages a week asking how can I overlap blocks and actually make it look good. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and then how to actually make it look nice on your page. I just realized in the intro video, what I said was I'm gonna show you how to overlap blocks and how to make them look good. And then I realized I'm not exactly the be all and end all when it comes to design. So if you don't like this, then you know, that's fine, but I'm gonna show you at least how to overlap the blocks. So what we wanna do, is go into website and we want to find the page that we're going to edit. So let's go into the about page and then we want to click edit and then we'll create a new section. So we'll go down here and you can see Squarespace already has like some overlap sections, but I'm going to show you from scratch. So we'll add a blank section and this can only be done in fluid engine. So make sure you add a fluid engine section and ignore all of this down here. So where it says classic editor, obviously you don't use that. So first off, I'm going to add a block. So let's add a image in, and then we'll go into stock images and we'll add this in. Then we'll move this over here and we'll resize it. So let's make it nice and big. And if we double click into design, we can fill. And that gives us a good basis for that image. So let's then say we want to add some text over the image. Might make this a tad bigger. And then I'm going to add a text block. So we add text and then I'm going to move the text over here. So it's overlapping. Now I'm going to put it here. So we'll say text goes here and then I'm going to blow this up. So it sits on the threshold here. Now you can see with the overlap here gets lost. So what we can do in this case is highlight here and we can change the color. So now we've got our overlap of text and image. If we wanted to add something else. So let's say we want to have a nice effect where we use something like this scrolling block to go behind, for instance, what I would do is I would just quickly highlight these and move them down a little bit to make room. Then we click add block and we get scrolling and I'm going to have this as full bleed. So what we want to make sure we're doing, if we click on here, is just sit this behind the text. So I don't want it to go in front, I want it to go behind. So we're going to click move backward and now it sits behind. But I want it to be a little bit bigger. So we double click, go into design and we're going to make that text large. There we go. And that has moved this down a little bit. So I'm just going to move this back up. Then I'm going to make this wavy because why not? And you can see we've got our overlap. So we've got three different elements here, all overlapping in different ways. And I feel like we're just missing one more thing. So let's add something else in. We'll go add block and I'm going to add a shape. So I'm going to add a big shape here. And this is going to overlap everything like so. And then I want to change this shape. So I'm going to double click it and I'm going to turn it to something groovy. Let's see, what can we have that groovy? with this and just because i'm going to put some blur behind it like so and now what we can see is this is sitting on top of everything so we want to move it backwards until we get to where we want to go so we click and then you can see we can use backwards so we can use this to move anything backwards or forwards i'm going to keep moving it backwards and you can see now that it sits behind everything but now i'm looking at it i'm thinking okay maybe i want image to sit behind it so if i click on the image what i can do is move the image back but now the scrolling block sits in front of the image. So what I'm going to keep doing is moving the image right to the back. So I now know, okay, the shape sits over the image. Now we need to fix this. So we click the scrolling block and we want to move that backwards. So we click and we click again. And now that sits right at the back. What we need to do is move it over the shape. So the shape needs to go back one and it needs to go back again. So what we're doing here is creating an order. So you have to play around with ordering the elements if you're going to have this many overlapped. Obviously, you don't have to do that. But you can see the process that we go through in order to stack things in the correct manner. And now we have our desired look. So what we want to do is hit save. And obviously, Squarespace's Fluid Engine isn't the greatest when it comes to mobile optimizing this. So what we're going to do is go onto mobile and we're going to sort this mess out. So at the top, we want our scrolling block. So we'll just drag this out to the sides. And you can see, obviously, the image needs to be a background for here. So if we shrink down the text and move that down a tad, we want to shrink down the image and then we want to bring this up like so. And you can see now the scrolling block is going over the image. So we're going to get the scrolling block and we're going to move that to the back to make sure it sits behind the image. And then finally, we've got our shape block. So I want this to be the background. I'm going to move it all the way up and then I want to send that to the back. Move this up and you can see it works. Now, as I said, this, I can't say I'm going to make it look good because this looks absolutely crap. But hopefully what it does is it shows you how to stack and how to overlap elements. If I wasn't doing it for educational purposes, I might make it look a little bit better. Well, I definitely would make it look a bit better, but I had to put a lot in just to show you how all the intricacies work. So if you found this useful, 
I know it was a long-winded one, but if you found it useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all the Squarespace resources in the description below.